On January 31st, YouTube's legal team woke up and chose violence. In fact, they sent the Discord music bot Hydra a cease and desist letter, which is basically stop what you're doing or we're going to sue you into oblivion. And the scary thing is that it's not just Hydra. In fact, we have Probot here that received a nasty cease and desist order from the YouTube legal team and Greenbot, another Discord music bot, also received a cease and desist order from YouTube. Now, since I shot this video a long time ago and this thing just kind of unfolded, we'll focus on Hydra mainly for this video. Now, why is this important and why should you even care? Well, here's the thing. Hydra didn't allow you to use YouTube to play music. And why is this important? Well, we need to go back in time a little bit. Back to August 24th, 2021, there's this Reddit post, Groovy, a popular music bot, announces them ending their services on August 30th. Now, the backstory was that Groovy was a Discord music bot that allowed you to play music from YouTube. So you could just enter in a YouTube link in a command, the bot would join your voice call and play the audio from that video. Cause you make my pick break. Now, technically speaking, this breaks the YouTube's terms of service, but to really boil it down, it's that you don't watch any ads. Now, of course, I didn't really think this was a massive issue, you know, not a lot of people use this bot, and I was definitely proven wrong, because Rhythm and Groovy, two very popular music bots, are in fact the second and third most popular Discord bot, even though they're actually dead, as you can tell by this tombstone icon. Rhythm was in 16 million Discord servers, and Groovy was in 11.2 million Discord servers. So, there's a lot of potential revenue missing, and YouTube of course, sent that cease and desist letter basically shutting down these bots. And as a result of these bots being shut down, all the rest of the Discord music bots actually turned off the YouTube feature. In fact, on September 13th of 2021, Hydra made this announcement, hey everyone, as of further recent events, we are forced to push our plans on changing Hydra's direction as soon as possible. This includes the need of immediately dropping YouTube as a supported platform. Following above action removes the ability to queue tracks or playlists from YouTube and related services. So as of September September 13th, 2021, Hydra did not allow you to play music from YouTube, so they should have been safe from YouTube's cease and desist letter. However, as you can tell from the start of this video, that definitely was not the case because they got that nasty cease and desist letter, as you see from this announcement here from yesterday, February 1st, 2023, February 1st, even though they turned off the feature in September of 2021. It's insane why this is even sent. Now, I thought this was extremely concerning because this might indicate that YouTube is just cease and desisting every single Discord music bot just randomly because they play music. Now, for some odd reason, I decided to give YouTube's legal team the benefit of the doubt. I thought they were competent, normal human beings. So what I decided to do is go on the Hydra website. And back in 2021, when Hydra allowed you to use YouTube, if you go on their website, because that's what most lawyers do, they'll go on their website, peruse around a little bit, wide range of platforms. Hydra allows you to play music from a wide range of platform. No S. Including YouTube. Oh, there's our YouTube. YouTube. Now we can sue these guys. But this is back in 2021. In fact, if I go to January 27th of 2023, so keep in mind, Hydra already knows if we play YouTube or have YouTube on our website, we are going to get sued into oblivion or a cease and desist letter. And this is in January 27th, 2023. So this is when the YouTube legal team are browsing the internet looking for people to stomp on for no reason because they chose violence. If you go on the Hydra website, as you can see, nothing too crazy. We don't see that YouTube word anywhere. Keep on going reaction roll message builder, commands list, multilingual, unique song request channel. Uh-oh. And I think what happened here is that YouTube's legal team saw this. It's a Discord music bot. It can play music. Of course it uses YouTube. We're not going to double check and we're going to send you a cease and desist letter, baby. Get f***ing dunked on. Now, I'm making it sound like a joke, but in reality, if YouTube's legal team just saw a song request and they saw it as a Discord music bot and assumed that it played YouTube music, that's really bad because that means that every single other Discord bot might just randomly get a cease and desist letter, even though it's not valid. And no one in the right mind would try to take a legal case up with YouTube because you will just go into bankruptcy and die. Now, if you are curious, the website right now, the live website, if you go on it, there are no suggestions of music whatsoever. And that's because they've completely completely disabled music as a whole. And what Hydra's gonna do is ultimately extremely sad, and I'll read the whole announcement. Today, we have some big news to share that we're both sad and excited about. Namely, Hydra will be fully removing any music-related features on February 7th. We know that this might be surprising to some of you. We felt the same way when we got an angry letter from YouTube's legal team on January 31st, 2023, over a year after we dropped the ability to queue YouTube links. So this letter shouldn't have happened in the first place, and since 
Hydro is an incredibly small company, just three people from Germany as part of the core team. We don't have the resources to fight these threats, which just leaves us with the option of complying within the seven days demanded. And it's really sad to see that Hydra's only option was just to sit down and take it, basically. They had to take down the whole entire music part of their bot, a massive and critical part of their bot. Even though it didn't use YouTube, they still had to take it down because YouTube thought it was bad. And this is extremely concerning. I really do hope that this is a one-time thing. However, if it's not a one-time thing, then things could be pretty bad. Imagine Discord with no music bots whatsoever, because YouTube's legal team had a little bit of a, I'm a little crybaby, wah! Hello, me from the future. Obviously, what I just said there is kind of funny, because I only thought Hydro was the only bot that got in trouble, but it turns out that it's also ProBot and GreenBot. Now, the thing with ProBot and GreenBot is that they both indicated that you could play YouTube music, so you will no longer be able to play audio from YouTube, indicating that that feature was available. And with ProBot, their message does kind of indicate that they also use YouTube content in our service, so these make sense, and unfortunately, once again, like I said, YouTube wants their money, so they're gonna do this. However, it is very concerning that Hydra, a bot that didn't allow you to use YouTube links, still got struck by the cease and desist. If they can just randomly shotgun approach, hit a whole bunch of Discord bots, and hit an innocent bot that hasn't had the feature of playing YouTube links, then what if they just keep doing that, and eventually we whittle down to no Discord music bots? Anyways, it's way too late and I, once again, recording this, re-recording, adding in little parts that are definitely not awkward at all. Anyways, I'm calling it quits here. I love you, sweetheart. Mwah. If there's anything new, it'll be in a pinned comment like normal. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh, big kisses from me.